Question 2. Sally had a bag of blue marbles and a bag of white marbles. The number of blue marbles was twice the number of white marbles. Sally removed three blue marbles and two white marbles each time. After a few rounds, there were 16 blue marbles and white marble left. What was the total number of marbles Sally had at first? First, let's identify the keywords. They are at first. So usually when a question asks you to find something at first, what you should do is to work your way backwards. You can either draw the model backwards or do your table listing backwards, but what the rule of thumb is to start from the last information and work your way to the front. Let's start from the last information, which is there were 16 blue marbles and one white marbles left. We have blue and we have white. The number of marbles left, it's 16. Okay, again, not drawn to scale and we have one. All right, moving back. Sally removed three blue marbles and two white marbles each time. For some of you, your general idea will be to sort of uh, guess and check in a sense. Let me keep adding back the three and the two, add back the three and the two, three and the two, three and the two, until I get a nice number such that blue is twice of white. Well, you can do that, that is assuming the answer is a small number. Then you wouldn't do many rounds of it. But what if it's a big number? What if it's 300 marbles and 160 blue marbles? Things like that. Then you can't be possibly doing the adding back until you get a lucky answer. That is not efficient. Okay. So another way to look at it is that when they mention removing three blue marbles and two white marbles, isn't this a matter of ratio? Alright, that means... For every three blue marbles that was removed, two white marbles, they were also removed. So the ratio must be in the three is to two. So if we just to look at the number of marbles removed, it must be, let me separate it for a while, it must be three is to two. Again, this over here, is the left over here this is the removed okay let me use another color removed and when you combine them together they will give you the model at first isn't it make sense yes once you combine the removed and the amount remaining you will just get the model at first Currently, the model is not that easy to visualize, so let's rearrange. Remember, model drawing is very dynamic. As and when new information comes in, if you need to erase it, redraw it until it's better, we'll go ahead and do it. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to rearrange it. So I'm just going to cover everything like this. And I'm going to start from the beginning. So, I remember the amount removed for blue is 3 units. And the amount removed for the white marbles, 2 units. And the amount remaining for the blue marbles is something like this, 16. And we have 1. Again, not drawn to scale. So this is the model at first. What other information have we not talked about? The very first information, the very first line here. The number of blue marbles was twice the number of white marbles at first. Twice. This is twice of white. What do I mean? What if I take the white times two? It should be equal to the blue, isn't it? So 
right now there are two units and one. What if I multiply by two? How many units will I get? I should get something like this. So I multiply by two, um, something like this, okay? Okay, something like this. So let me combine it together. I'm going to multiply it by two. I should get this. Four units over here. And two. This is what we can achieve with all the information. From here, is it easy to see what is one unit over here? Yes, right? We can see that one unit. It's simply 16 minus 2 equals to 14. Every unit here is 14. Once we have figured it out, let's erase. Again, modest drawing is dynamic. Erase the additional information and go back to the original model. This is the model at first. And we know that every single box is 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14. Now we can solve it. What was the total number of marbles Sally had at first? Well, it's everything. So total number of marbles Sally had at first. 5 units, so it's 5 times 14 plus the 16 and the 1, which is plus 17. And that will give you the answer of 87. Now, in my opinion, you realize that after you practice for a while, if you were to do the past year's uh, PSLE papers, you realize that most of the questions the number of steps you need to get to the answer it's not a lot you don't have like eight nine steps generally the bulk of your time is spent analyzing the question like what we did earlier we spent quite a number of minutes analyzing the question drawing out the model once you are done with the analysis the number of steps are usually quite minimal all right so that is the pattern that i've been observing and if you practice enough you will observe that also okay 